Fallout from the travel expenses controversy continues for the coalition government. Foreign Minister Julie Bishop has finally spoken about it, defending her taxpayer-funded claim of more than $3,000 to attend a wedding in India. Let's cross to Ben Avery in Canberra. Ben, take us through what Ms Bishop had to say. Well, Amber, the Foreign Minister has admitted there's a very grey area between work and play for expense claims, but, like the Prime Minister, doesn't believe there's any need to change the rules around entitlements. Now, Tony Abbott has defended his use of taxpayers' money to attend an Ironman event and repaid the expenses he claimed to attend weddings. Julie Bishop, however, hasn't paid back the almost $3,500 she spent on attending a lavish wedding in India. Now, she and fellow frontbencher Barnaby Joyce were flown there by Gina Ryan Heart, but flew back at taxpayers' expense. Now, Ms Bishop says she had sought and attained approval for that, money, for that money and insists that it was justified. The wedding I attended was no social event. There were about 10,000 people at this event. Um, many um, leading businessmen, politicians, industrialists from all over the world uh, were present at this event and so it would hardly be described as a social event for me to attend. Tony Abbott, meanwhile, was now finished at the East Asia Summit. He departed Brunei late yesterday and spent last night in Darwin. That's where he's about to launch a new border protection boat in his continued fight to stop asylum boats from coming to Australia. Amber? Thanks, Ben.